In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can animate this car. And by the way, you can use this method to animate any object that you want. But for this example, I'm going to stick to this car. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is, with the car selected, I'm going to go to this animation tab. And I'm going to create a new animation. So let's call it car animation. Let's save. There we go. So now let's go. I'm going to go to the top view so that you can have a better view. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is to set the first frame, the zero frame. So for this frame, but before I need to activate this red icon so that we can enable the, the recording mode. Okay, so now let's start the first frame. So we will be affecting the X value. Okay, so the first frame, let's set it to 44. Okay, so what I want to do is to go all the way to this position over here and make a turn and go all the way to this position and go back to the first position here. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm gonna jump to the 100 frame or let's keep it 500 frame. I'm gonna scroll out, scroll the mouse. There we go. So this is the fifth 500 frame. So now I'm gonna drag the car all the way to this position. Okay. So now if I hit play, you can see that the car will move from this position all the way to the end position here. Okay, good. And since we will be affecting the, the rotation, the Y rotation, I need to set it on the first place. So I need to rewrite this minus 90 degree. There we go. And in the end, I need to keep the, the rotation the same. So 500 and let's keep it minus 90 degree. There we go. Now let's focus on this part. So we're going to rotate the car from this position to this position over here. Okay, so let's do that. First, I'm gonna jump to the 600 frame, like this. And let's move our car here. And I'm gonna change the, the rotation to minus 135, like this. Okay, as you can see, we have this rotation, but maybe I need to move it down a little bit, like this. Okay, now let's go to the 700 frame. Now I'm gonna change the rotation to minus 180 degree, and let's move the car into the middle here. Yes, okay, we have it. So let's continue. I'm gonna do the same thing. Jump to the 800 frame and let's change the rotation to minus 225 degree. Let's move the car right here. Okay, so as you can see, we have this rotation, this car rotation. We can go further in details and make it even better, but I'm gonna stick to this. Okay, so now let's go to this position over here. So let's jump to the 900 frame. And here I'm gonna change it to minus 270 and let's move it right there. Okay, cool. Now I need to go all the way to this position. I'm gonna repeat the same thing that we did in this side. So, from this position to here, we have 500 frames. 
I'm gonna do the same thing here. So here we have 900 plus 500 frame, which is 1,400 frame. Gonna scroll the mouse, and let's take our car all the way to this position here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna hit play so that we can test our animation. There we go. So, as you can see, the car is a little bit too fast. So I need to make it slow down. So it goes all the way to the end and rotate. And go back to the starting position. I'm gonna show you how to make it slow down. So in order to make it go slow, you need to increase the gap between this position. So, the more you make it larger, the slower the car will be. And let's try now. As you can see, the car is slow now. And that is exactly what I want. Okay, pretty nice.